Hey everyone, today we're going to take a quick look at the HTC HD2 running Windows Phone 7. Um, the version that we're running right now is Windows Phone 7 Mango, and it's running the newest build 8107 as of January 9th, 2012. We're just going to go over to the settings just to uh, confirm that, just so you guys can uh, see that for yourselves. So let's just go to About down over here. Let's go to More Info. And as you can see, it says 8107 over here. Um, now this ROM is called Back to the Future. It's from the XD Developers Forum, and you guys can probably download that if you guys are over, uh, if you guys head on over to that forum over there. Now we're going to check out the performance of Internet Explorer over here. And right now I have a page that's preloaded, and it's on the Windows Phone 7 wiki. Um, and I just want to show you guys how the scrolling is on the phone compared to Android. Um, the scrolling over here is surprisingly very, very smooth. So you guys can go up and down the page relatively quickly. And there's really no hiccups whatsoever as you uh, scroll down to the web page. And like I said, it's very snappy, it's very smooth, and it's very, very, very beautiful. So we're going to go over here and click on a photo just to give you guys a look. And you guys can see how smooth it actually looks. I go up and down over here. Now there is a little issue with uh, web browsing in general. Um, there is a problem with the multi-touch driver. Um, if you attempt to do a pinch to zoom, it doesn't work uh, nearly uh, as good as you want it to work. Um, so if you want to, for example, zoom in or zoom out, um, it's not really going to work the way you really want it to work. But there is a little workaround to this. You could use your finger and just double click on, double tip, uh, double click on to the screen just to zoom in on something. Just if you, if you guys want to take a look, and of course you could double tap again just to zoom out, like so. We're gonna go on over here and uh, load up another web page over here just to give you guys a reference as to how web browsing works. So let's just go over here and open a, a new tab, and. Let's load on a different web page. So let's go to the New York Times .com and let's go down over here. Let's take a look. And as you can see, we're it loads fairly quickly. FYI, I'm running through Wi-Fi. I'm not running through T-Mobile's 3G network at all. I'm just running through my home Wi-Fi at home. Um, so right now we are going to attempt to do a pinch to zoom, but I won't guarantee it will work. And of course it's not going to work, so let's just double tap over here just to uh, zoom in onto the page. So let's go over here and click the link over here. Let's go check out the US News. And let's see how that loads. And it loads fairly quickly again. The web browsing is very, very, very nice and smooth. So as we go up and down over here, um, could see just how fluid and uh, beautiful it looks through the Internet Explorer and mobile web browser. Um, so that's the web page over here. So that's the web browsing part of it. Um, let me show you guys how the YouTube app works as well. So let's go click and watch just a small video to see how that loads. And let's just load up any random video over here. Just go click on that. Give you guys an idea of how that sounds and what the image quality is. And hopefully it'll load. It's just... So it looks like it's running fairly smooth. It's fairly loud as well. Okay, and again, the whole ROM runs fairly well. Um, the battery life on the earlier builds were really not as good as what it is right now after applying the SP1 update and applying the newest update as well. So we're just going to go down over here and check out how much battery time I have left and how long it's already been on. Now I have used this phone um, on Android earlier today, so I'm not sure how accurate this uh this battery life will tell you. Oh, excuse me. So let's go back up over here to battery life. Sorry. 
And right now it's showing 37% uh, remaining. Um, it's been showing that it has been charged for a, one day and nine hours, and it's giving me an estimated time of about 11 hours. So that's roughly about, uh, I would say, about a day and a half of usage remaining. Uh, I'm sorry, of, of what I've used. So it looks to be roughly five to 11 hours remaining, to be honest with you. So I'm not too, I'm not quite sure how 37%, not quite sure what 37% means. Um, I guess it really depends on what your usage is, is on the phone. <coughs> Excuse me. So now we're going to check out how Netflix is going to work on this phone. And what just happened? I can turn it off. Let's load up Netflix and see how the performance is on that. Oops. And let's go take a look at that. And hopefully this will load. And just remember I'm running from the Wi-Fi network and not running from the HSPA network from T-Mobile. And we're just going to wait for this to load. And let's just load up any random video over here. Samantha E. Bourdain, no reservations. Let's just... Hopefully we can... Uh, Let's play over here and we'll just resume. Let's just take a look and see what kind of quality this phone actually has. But also sometimes my mother tells me. Look, yeah, she sometimes sits here and I paint her. She says, That's hey, the Netflix performance on this phone. You might have to wait but until the video buffers so that this can increase the video quality on this if phone. It is a function of art to raise new questions and confound expectations. Then this encounter with Jonathan Meese... But it does run fairly well. You can pause, you could skip, What's you could do all that up? stuff. As you wish, from the phone. Fairly well. Okay. So yes, it runs fairly well. Let's go back over here and let's just check out another app. Let's just check out... Uh, Let's just check out the HTC app down over here. And this is the HTC app over here. And uh, let's go check out the weather to see what it's like in New York City. Looks to be clear and cloudy in New York City right now. Um, Press back over here. Let's go take a look at some of the other things in this app. So this runs fairly smooth. So up and down over here, it's smooth. And smooth over here. Smooth over here as well. Smooth over here as well. And that's really all there is to this phone. It runs fairly well. And that's all you have it. There you have it. HTC HD2 running Windows Phone 7 8107. Thanks.